good to see you. We have an homage today for a cologne I used to wear and buy at Tower Records. It's a beautiful morning with the barber shop duet. Hi, I'm Marcus Klinger with Klinger Vocal Studio. And I'm Sarah Vincent with Sarah Vincent Virtual Pilates. But on Wednesdays and Saturdays... We are the Barbershop Duet! Hey, it's good to see you! It Come is. on in, your seat's always open. Mm -hmm. And for our mention today... Fun little Marcus trivia! <laughs> we, when we were recently cleaning out the bathroom to arrange our for new our shave den, den mm -hmm. we discovered my original Calvin Some Klein archival. vintage <laughs> bottles, just to prove to y'all that I was a disciple. Uh, I wore these in college and the last couple of years of high school. Eternity which ended up being a little strong for me, Calvin Klein's Obsession for Men, and which was is... the scent soundtrack of the 80s and 90s, and Escape, which for me smelled a little bit like watermelon. Can you oh, still funny. smell like the Let's lid see. a little bit? Oh. Right? She likes it too. I know. So the cool thing about these is they are really retaining their original scents beautifully, and I didn't realize until we kind of started this show how prized some of these right? antique bottles are. So, y'all, if Very you've fun. got a few of these sitting in the attic or basement, go grab Did them. They may still be in beautiful working condition, and who knows? They may still be absolutely coveted by the right. fragrance and, and shaving world. So, yeah, since we were going to... And I couldn't find my original bottle of CK1. It was a little bottle. It was about that big. In uh, fact, here's a picture of oh, what cool. they looked yeah, like yeah. when they sold. And the cool thing is, if you have a couple of these antique bottles in your basement or attic, go dig them out because they may be hidden treasures that are still a valuable part of your frag collection. And it's kind of fun because our noses have been trained so much more after the last six months smelling right. these soaps and really appreciating scent. To go back to something that you used to wear, you might find that you want to wear something closer to that again yeah, or wonder right. why you wore that in the back, back in the day, you yeah. know? So I can't find my original bottle of CK1, but luckily we have today's soap. Let's meet it. <laughs> I was a giant fan growing up of a place called Tower Records. Mm -hmm. And if you had one where you lived, you know. know. It was just this big yellow sign with these red words that said Tower Records. And mm -hmm. they had everything. So the thing is, if you were a metal fan, if you were a country fan, if you were like a Broadway fan, they had the deep cuts. They had the albums you couldn't get anywhere else. Mm -hmm. They paid extra to import them, and they had them there for you. And it wasn't just the music. They had posters. They had the greatest news the rack stuff. you could possibly imagine. Every magazine. Wow. They carried the Sondheim Review Literary Journal in the store. You could just wow. go buy it. They had the it's greatest like the posters. Way to get everything. Yeah, yeah, the greatest poster selection known to man. Some of them jump-started me into puberty. I mean, this was the so 90s place you spent there. to hang out. Mm -hmm. And okay. there was one day, the beginning of my freshman year and college, where I was at the Concord California Tower Look Records and I walked in and I I smelled this most amazing smell. Uh -huh. And it was because they had just unboxed their first shipment of the world's first marketed unisex cologne. Oh. And it was by Calvin Klein. Huh. And I will never forget opening that tester and smelling my first wave of this going, what? wow, it's really strong. It's really beautiful. And it's right in the middle of whether it would be for a guy or a girl. And it's huh. a beautiful scent. And they sold these little bottles for nine ninety five. Can you imagine? So we all picked them up and Heck tried yeah. them on for size. So this smell was everywhere ah, in the 90s. I and wonder if I know it. I'm That's so fun. excited for you to experience it. And a little bit of my tower records journey too mm -hmm. so there's not much on the sales page about this other than the set notes but that it's an homage to ck1 so uh, that's where we're at <laughs> this thing sold i think 90 million dollars of sales the first year so it was the banger of the mid 90s and let's unbox it <laughs> Last one in the box. The last one from We've first box it. shave, y'all. We had digging. a few come in this box. There it is. This label is I also a it. reason. Oh, there's a couple of things from the way. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh y'all, there this? are some samples for y'all. Oh, cool. Hey, so since we don't smell the samples, because we might want to do that soap review someday, oh, we will give these away these? to you. Whoa, so if you are in the live chat of our YouTube video, well, put your what? hand up and we'll send one of these out to you. I'm not oh, even cool. sure what they are. Can you see there? Yeah. Oh, this is a Strykeld Shave Combo. Oh, line shave. nice. I don't know if they can see the little mouse yeah, logo. Nice. That one. one and then that oh, one. How fun! Oh, thanks, y'all. That's yeah. very nice. And then look. Of course. Look at this 
label. The Yo. colors alone Woo! scream 90s. Right. I am so mm-hmm. excited. I just want to give a shout out to one of our friends, Double Y, mm-hmm. because he has a fantastic first reaction right. channel, and it's all silent. He works mm-hmm. in ASMR. Fun TikToks. So, and yeah. yeah. Yo, go over and check him but out, too. But we saw the label. That's where we discovered mm-hmm. this, and I was like, oh, uh-huh. buddy, what's it like? And he was like, oh, you're going to love it. So, woo, we're going to find out. for the recommendation, yeah. and let's have a first impression. <laughs> Okay, so I kind of want to smell should, this first, and I'll, I'll tell you because you know what right? it. You used to wear it. You know what it's kind yeah. of maybe gonna smell. I, I remember it being just deliciously a cold citrus. Oh, and fun! I'm loving that idea. So. That is a very okay. Uh, I'm, I'm intrigued. Okay, here we go. Ready? I don't know. Am I ready? I'm, I'm hoping. Oh. Oh. Are you having flashbacks? Oh. Or is it a new oh. first version? Lots of owing. <laughs> I'm actually really happy that this is not perfectly a duplication. Okay. An upgrade? This a new has version? some inspiration and oh. some whimsy in it. Y'all, mm-hmm. I'm going to put my flag in this. This is a subtle updating of this Ooh. fragrance. And I am here for it. It's amazing. That cold citrus used to be, for me, a little bit bracing, a little okay. bit too heavy of one note to stick out. Nope. They balanced it. Wow. It's been balanced. Okay, okay, so be ready for a lovely to citrus be experience. In awe I of think this since I know color. how you like this kind of citrus, okay. I think you're gonna like this. Ooh, and knowing that it's unisex, that's kind of it's fun. It's unisex. It goes both ways. And I'm so a big '90s gal, so yeah. this is even that is just exciting. Okay, I wonder if I know anyone that wore this. The color in the bowl. That's kind of why I pushed that. Mm-hmm. Okay, back to business. All right, take Let's it see. in. See what Do you I think. Do I know this? I'm so excited about this. Wow. Right? You know, I don't know if I know it because someone wore it. Ah. But you know, back in the day, yep. when you got your magazines with all the cool, fun oh, stuff, right. there was Data that little... Samples. Mm-hmm. Mm. And I used to take those out and take a whiff of those. Right. So I think it might be... But I don't know it enough that I knew anyone that wore it. But I, I do like it. It's the perfect amount of sweet right. and citrus. And and I do... I just get that blue color in my mind. Yeah. I, or like that purple combo of the neon pink and blue. <sighs> And it's, I love it's fun. I love it still has that citrus frostiness to it without mm-hmm. it getting too prominent. If you know, if you're aware of what that original scent balance was, that bracing citrus was a little pokey. Mm-hmm. And the fact that they've turned the intensity down on just that citrus so the whole balance can come out a little more. <gasps> it's really fun and like nostalgic. Like I do feel like I'm back in the 90s. Right. Oh. Like I do have that time warp of like that carefree vibe. I mean, I was younger in the 90s. It wasn't much to stress about. Right, right. And I get that vibe. Like, there is something carefree and fun about it. And I love that it says volume one. Maybe there's some more coming. Oh, right. Stephen Wright yesterday said, we went on a cross-country trip. We only had one cassette. I forget what it was. Yeah. I just have to remember it, like, if with cassettes, putting it in to catch a song on the radio right. that you wanted to You'd get. have to record it, right? And, and wait. you'd get a little bit of the commercial right. beforehand, mm-hmm. right? And a little but bit that's of the, the only way. You, anyways. Or Speaking Tower, of Tower Records. Records yeah. Right? yeah, go get okay. your cassettes. But this is a super fun scent. I really thought we were going to have something maybe close to it in our den, but no. I don't think so. No. And you know what? Let me take a look at what's, now that that citrus has been balanced to where it should be, y'all, let me look at what's around it. Oh, see, now I'm able to sense some right? of those scent notes that were a little bit subdued, I think, in the original because that center note was so bright and bracing. Mm-hmm. But now I'm getting some of these I undertones. know we kind of joke of like a oh. dude flower a lot of the times, oh. but I get right. smell for a floral but masculine 100%. scent. percent Probably the most we've ever smelled so far on this show, a right? masculine flower. I- I'm... Smell it, I promise. Yeah, yeah, here, smell. But doesn't that make sense that if you were to balance, like attempt to balance the masculine right. and the feminine, right in the middle of you that would find gauge. a floral, traditionally feminine, mm-hmm. but then find a super masculine one or a way yeah. to pull out the masculine parts of it if you're like a chemist. Right. Kind of I mean, the more I keep smelling it, different parts come to mind. Yeah. But my very first whiff, I almost got like a blue raspberry. It's not in there. Right. But it's that no, rebellious you. thing. Yeah. I don't know what that is, but right. it's it's not in here. But, but my tar- that my fun took me there. Clean side mm-hmm. of it. And I think that's why. Y'all, this was not a cologne that was sold at a hoity toity. No. no. This, you could get this at Tower Records right next to your Bruce Springsteen mm-hmm. album. So that's what made the this cool. The more fun people, like right. kind of the colorful this was kind energy. Of like the people's yeah. cologne, right? Mm-hmm. Just be- and it was kind of marketed that way, just because it could be worn by anybody. Ten bucks will get you out the door with twenty milliliters of it. Yeah. Yeah, y'all, it was awesome stuff. And oh. 
I love that when these homages are reinvented with maybe even better quality ingredients, yeah. they end up coming out even better for me. This is wild. And I think we I need to put a little say, bit of water and I'm air I'm curious what sky. comes to life And there's going to be some more stuff. And I also this. understand, well, our friend at Double Y was like, nope, just get it. You're going to enjoy this. Yo, I wasn't didn't, wrong. Right? I didn't realize that his videos were first reaction until I offered to send him some samples. And he was like, nah, I'm like you guys. If I smell the sample, it'll ruin the episode. It's like, oh. oh so when fun. you watch those, just know those are his very first I reactions. Love that. So, okay. Love it. I know. Plus, he's such a sweet guy. He's got a fun vibe. He's always smiling, too. You just want to, like, join in with him. I'm yeah. like, yeah, can we shave, too? Okay. I, I picked this bowl only because the coloring and the coloring here were clearly too close not to. This is my AKA brush and bowl from Amelia and Gardner at AKA Brushworks. Mm hmm. Two of my prized possessions of the shave den. Oh. Okay, let's see. What oh. We're Things happening already? Oh. Okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Are we back the to the 90s? The citrus yeah? is coming back out of this, y'all. And if you do sort of see this, like, pattern at the bottom of your bowl like cobwebs from the haunted mansion she might be asking for a drink give her some more water here it is a fun stronger oh. scent too like potency wise this is one of my favorite oranges i think because oh. it's so cold it's such a because beautifully cold because some of our oranges so far have been like a smoky orange right, or like, or like orange summery. grind or something mm -hmm. like that i love that this is such a wintry citrus okay ready okay let's see yeah, it just bloomed and opened and like reconnected itself. Right. Like, and do you get the cold citrus in here more? Yes. I think that's the more blue image I'm getting. It, it wow. does, it's I, it's not icy. It's not that type of No, cold. not no, not menthol. Not no, icy. Not get that, that out of your type head. of cold, but, but just a beautiful, bracing, cold, cold, cold citrus. And I love this. Yeah, without the menthol. Right. It's a cold it citrus have, without the menthol. Mm -hmm. But it does, it has like straight off the ocean blue. Right. Something and it's coming in. Mostly orange, a little bit of lemon, I think, to keep that little right, bracing. Right, like bergamot -y, something in there. Mm -hmm. And I don't, and I think the magic is I don't know if there's grapefruit in here. I think it does it oh. all with the orange, the lemons, the bergamots. But does that mean we should look at our list here? There's a list, y'all! Okay, okay, so there's not much on the sales page but the scent notes, but mm -hmm. they are plentiful. Yes. And I wasn't totally wrong. No, okay. that person. Okay. Notes. What's the very first one? Lemon. Lemon. Green notes. Green notes. Bergamot, yep. which I said. Bergamot. Oh, but and look then, at this. Here we go. Mm -hmm. Pineapple. No wonder you like this type of uh -huh. Love it. Now, this is the farthest thing from an Aventus, y'all. This is not no. Aventus. Mm -mm. But there is a lovely pineapple in here right. mixed with mandarin orange. Yo, yep, that's, that's the orange I got. Orange yep. and lemon on top for sure. Mm -hmm. Cardamom. Oh, oh, and then and look then? at this one. Papaya. Papaya King. Yo. Yeah, I do Whoa. get that. I love that. Okay, and then this is more of like where some of the floral hits. Right. And it's funny. Like, I wonder... Those tops are a little manly. These middles are a little feminine. Maybe a few, And then yeah. underneath, maybe a little both. So, okay, what's in the middle? Okay, middle. Lily of the Valley. Beautiful, yep. Jasmine, which yes. I definitely got. And Violet. And Rose. Oh. The, so, yes. And Freesia. So, there you go. Those but are your florals. Also, y including and mixing with those. nutmeg. Nutmeg. Oris root. Oris. Love okay. it. And there's yes. still more. Don't worry. So, underneath, grounding this all, here's your base notes. You got another green accord mm -hmm. under here. Green notes on top, green accord Is underneath. It interesting. Interesting. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, this is beautiful. Musk. Yep. That hint of musk, like a little bit of a white musk. Oh, and then look, here's some more wood. Cedar. Cedar sandalwood. sandalwood. Mm -hmm. Oak, Oak musk. Yes. And then look at this one green tea. And air. You know what's funny? I get the green tea. Do you smell that? Okay, back in the 90s, I used to love the Arizona iced tea. Oh, yeah. And there is that kind of vibe right. in there. I was a Snapple man myself, oh, okay. but I understand mm -hmm. the Arizona people. That would be just so excited to go to Costco because we'd beg mom. Right. Who would get? Is it a Snapple week? Is it going to be an Arizona iced tea right. week? I Costco for me growing up was Dr. Stein's Bagel Dogs. Put in the comments if you know. But yeah, and then Amber. Amber. This beautiful spice mm -hmm. just to kind of hold it together underneath. What it a really dances back and forth from that yeah. masculine to feminine. Like, again, I think if you were wearing it or if I were wearing it, you would get a totally different whiff. Right. It just has that vibe of it could really cater to you. And that is a really interesting point, y'all. This does, and I think that's the magic of what CK1 is and what mm -hmm. 90s Rewind is. This does not give you a scent that it's like kind of what I was thinking at the beginning of this episode, something in the middle of right. both. Now, I think this is something that plays beautifully in the extremes. Mm -hmm. So I think if you take the extreme masculines, they're here. If you take the extreme feminines, they're here. Yep. And that tug of war creates this beautiful mm -hmm. balance that you sense in the middle 
of that. Does that right. make sense? Yes. Because these notes, like if you look at them, the musk, that's a guy mm-hmm. scent. A green tea, it's right. a guy scent. Sandalwood, that's a guy scent. Oak moss, that's a guy scent. And then you're looking Swabble. at lily of the valley, mm-hmm. jasmine, violet, rose, mm-hmm. and freesia. even the lighter citruses, more right. pineapple. These are the lady scents. So mm-hmm. I think this is done with these right. extremes coming together in the middle in this world. But they whirlwind. work perfectly. And that, that's what makes it work, I think. Yeah. That's what makes it work because you're dealing with these extremes putting and together. And when we were watching our other friend's video, they had the aftershave, which we totally did forgot to get no, but it's a really a cool shirt. blue but yeah. i almost would be cool to see what that would happen on you versus me oh, I, did. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, I need that this is beautiful and according to the website there's nine left at first line shape so get your act together if you want them <laughs> yeah you know what uh i'm gonna i'm gonna let some truth spill out here in a second but we're gonna have to go a little bit deeper uh, to do that Okay, so let's have a grown-up conversation. A 90s version of a conversation? Let's have, yes, let's have a 90s grown-up conversation. Um, when I would wear the original right. for the first couple of hours, and it was a potent beast, y'all. Okay. For the first few hours, it sat perfectly the way I'd wanted to. Right. But toward the end, that center citrus note became the solo act, ah. and it just started to just poke at me, especially right. if I was getting hungry. Right. And it just would have this little... I don't know, odd after effect mm-hmm. of being too strong in that moment, right? Right. Just like you're trying to sleep and somebody next door is going, I am Henry the Eighth, I am. So just kind of that right. sensation. This has taken that center note mm-hmm. and turned down the volume. I know I said this a little bit earlier, right. but no, now in the last analysis, mm-hmm. this would not jump out at me after three or four hours. This would stay in that perfect balance. And I'm loving it more at the beginning right. because there are things I couldn't sense at the ah, beginning with the original yeah, mm-hmm. because they were being overpowered by whatever exactly. that center thing was. But now I can smell the musk. I can smell the green tea. Mm-hmm. I can smell those more subtle things that are making the original what it was that might have been a little bit too... I don't know, subdued by those. Well, it's funny. I'm just getting an image notes. of like how when you're mixing music and you want to blend That's the music, exactly there's it. something in the right. blend here right. that you, makes you uh, appreciate all of the tiers that are in there instead right. of that one note that everything's pulling against. Yep, totally. And I wonder of all of the smells of Calvin Klein that have right. endured, you don't see this one as much. Interesting. And I wonder if it's because they didn't just do something. to it what they've done with it mm-hmm. here at First Line Shave because the, I, I've said this once or twice before, mm-hmm. but they've like fixed it right and this is a scent i already thought was pretty darn right, one fixed that you thought and beautiful, you had. right yeah. so yo i'm just in can you buy ck1 you can't buy it anymore I think right I don't know if you can buy okay. it new. I know you can buy all of right, these right, on the right. secondary market, but, but I, I don't think you can yeah, get it new. Because it is kind of fun how the shaving world is bringing some of these back, like where you can't get them, right. but they can make it better and more impressive in different ways, and you can still kind of get it. It may not be the original OG scent, but it's a nice homage and recreation of it. Right. And you see this excitement behind my eyes? It's kind of the same feeling I get when I hear a song. It's one of my right. favorites, but it's redone, a cover by somebody I mm-hmm. now love, right. and you hear what the they've done to it you're like oh why didn't anyone sing it like that before Mm -hmm. that's what i'm sensing with the ck1 in this y'all it's super fun to see like you know i always makes me wonder like if the artisan themselves wore this or someone Uh they knew did like what makes them pick the one that right if what makes them pick that fragrance to make an homage to i'm always curious like if it was a request from people in the audience or more the artisan side or Or if you just had a bunch of tower records fans like yeah Mm -hmm. around and yeah i know we rarely discuss lather here in the barbershop duet but look that at that a happy lather. look at that ice cream cone y'all mm-hmm. that's not gonna melt for three or four hours that's just gorgeous it feels mm-hmm. like i'm stirring yogurt in a bowl There's it's very happy push back to the brush oh, too bad you can't is... use it to shave right now <laughs> so it's pretty easy when you get your very first cd player head on oh. down to tower records they're gonna have a selection of 10 or 12 to choose from pick up the phantom of the opera original london cast oh. recording on digital it's about 30 bucks and if you hand over a couple of 20s you got 10 dollars left over and you know what check out that little frosted bottle of cologne yeah. next to the cash register pop it open take a sniff and enter a whole new world of unisex fragrances You just just got got your own! So, head over to firstlineshave.com to find this and a ton of other cool stuff! Y'all, I had my shave. Just kidding. 
I had my shave with 90s Rewind, and it was actually very enjoyable. I forgot how much of a fun aquatic flower kind of vibe this gives, but I have to say, I was definitely in the 90s, and I wanted to play all my jams from the 90s while I enjoyed my shave. And this lathered up wonderfully, and I really have to say, it was very enjoyable. Right, Lainey? <laughs> Welcome to Messages! Hey, so we are getting ready to shoot our St. Paddy's Day episodes, and we know there are a few Irish-related yes. scents that are pretty beloved. We have mm -hmm. Irish coffee from Katie's we Bubbles do. coming, and a couple other surprises. But mm -hmm. if you have a favorite St. Paddy's Day, or even Easter Maybe, yeah. scent that you'd like us to cover on the show, put it in the comments. Let us know. And I love how I'm never disappointed in this world. The only time I'd ever be disappointed is if, if, if the soap didn't have enough smell to even smell it. Right. Because once I can smell it, mm -hmm. I've always been delighted by these. And even when you know what to expect, you don't expect it to be even better than right? you remember or an even better balance of the scent notes. And it's kind of fun for me to get to know like what you wore in the 90s right. because I didn't know you then. So right. it's fun to have these bring that back. Did, which I, is even did I smell like this? Almost. But I think <laughs> right. this smells better. Probably. Yeah, I let's think be this real. Is this either is... better ingredients or a better balance or just something because let's face it, you wouldn't be selling this for 10 bucks next mm -hmm. to a cash register. Yeah. This is too good. I'm curious if anyone in the audience used to wear this too. So right. put in the comments. Yes, and, let us and know. if you've smelled this, let me know if I'm right. If if you think it's a, a way better mm -hmm. balance of this scent that we love I'm so curious, much. Yeah. It just makes me think about Tower Records. And you know, a good time I'd, of nostalgia. Yeah. If, if, if I ever got sent from work within 10 miles of one, I'd usually figure out a reason Detour. to duck in for lunch and pick out a new album yeah. or two, right? So was your first CD actually the family It was. I, I remember going to Circuit City with my mom and dad and Ooh, buying City. Mm -hmm. the family's first CD player. That's and thing. mom and I went down the street to Tower Records and we picked out... Mm -hmm. uh, I got the Phantom of the Opera because I was a theater kid, right. and mom picked out the Broadway album by Barbara Streisand. And like oh, I said, there were really yeah. only 12 or 13 at CDs the time. at the yeah, time. Yeah, crazy. Get. But oh, it, like to listen to your first CD when you had completely mm -hmm. thrashed your cassettes. Right, and those run out. Like CDs were the first right. time they could keep playing. Right, and to my ear, it was just like getting out of jail. And you oh. mean it's going to sound like this Forever? every time I play it? Mm -hmm. Whoa! These cassettes are going to go the way of the dinosaur, but who knew they were making a comeback vinyl, right? too? I, mean, I know. It's funny, because kids these days really have no idea. But when hey, you're... everything old is new again. Is. And if cassettes and records are making a comeback, it makes right? perfect sense to me that scents like this would also yeah. want to be just updated a tiny bit and have another resurgence, mm -hmm. because they're classic. They you miss are. them, and I'm grateful they're here. Don't forget, your next to promo at the barbershop, do Woo! it. You'll smell better just watching this. Yeah.